Hello everyone, this is Dr. Zaidi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, ZTube. Today we are going to discuss example two of a process costing system. What we are going to do, we are going to compare the weighted average method and FIFO method when we calculate the equivalent units for direct material and conversion costs. So Z Corporation adds 20% of the material at the beginning of the process and the remaining 80% when the process is 10% completed. So material is added at two different points in times in the example two. Z had 100,000 units, 25% completed at the beginning of the period. So that's your beginning working process inventory. 150,000 units were completed and transferred out. And then 50,000 units were 50% completed at the end of the period. So you have the ending inventory. Now calculate all units and the equivalent units for direct material and conversion costs. So we're going to start with the whole units. So this step stays the same as whether you use weighted average method or the FIFO method. So work in process beginning is provided. That's 100,000 units. It's given in the question. So we are going to simply enter 100,000 here from this part. Now, it started during the period. That information is not provided instead of completed and transferred out provided. Now, if you remember from uh, my other video, if you have seen that, I discussed the algebraic equation method that you can use to figure out the missing information. Uh, if you haven't reviewed, review that. This will provide you, that will, video will provide you information about how to go back and find out missing information. For this particular question, right, I will solve this part right here. So we're going to go backwards and we are going to calculate to account for, right? And in order to calculate to account for, we can calculate accounted for, right? Because accounted for and to account for stays the same. So accounted for is equal to completed and transferred out plus, completed and transferred out plus your ending work in process. So in this case, your completed and transferred out units are provided 150,000 units plus the ending work in process inventory is 50,000 that's also provided. And now you can come up with the total units to be accounted for which will be 200,000, right? So that 200,000 is the units accounted for. You can insert in part two right here, but because accounted for is equal to the units to account for, so you can put this information right here. This stays the same, so to account for, okay? Now we can go backwards and we can calculate the units started during the period. So 200,000 minus 100,000 will give you 100,000 here. So that's how you calculate the started during the current period. Now we move on to the weighted average method to calculate the equivalent units for direct material and conversion cost. Now we already have the completed and transferred out units that's given in the question. In row three, you can see 150,000 units were completed and transferred out. So we add 150,000 here, and then the ending inventory is provided 50,000. So that's right here, and the sum is 200,000 that you already calculated right here, okay? Now we calculate the equivalent units. Now for direct material, because we are using weighted average method and completed and transferred out is always 100% across, right? For direct material is 100% completed. So we are going to enter 150,000 here, and we are going to enter 150,000 for conversion cost because it's 100% completed. Okay, always gonna be like that. For work in process ending, it says 50% completed. All right, so now look at when do you add direct material? It says Z adds 20% of the material at the beginning of the process, and the 80% when the process is 10% completed. So that means, we completed 50%, that means we crossed the 10% mark. That means we added all the material during the current period, right? 20% when we were at point zero, 
and then another 80% when we were at 0.10, 10%, and now we are at 0.50, 50%. So we added everything. So 100%, which is 50,000, will be added during the current period. Now the next is the conversion cost because it's 50% completed in working process. So we are only going to add 50% of conversion cost, which is 50% of cell C14. Okay. So that is our conversion cost, which is 25,000. Now we are going to add this. So we have cell D13 and we have cell D14. Add them together. We have 200,000 equivalent units for your direct material. And then we also add 150,000 and 25,000. That will give us 175,000. Okay. Now we move on to our FIFO method here. Now for FIFO method, we already have the beginning inventory given. The beginning inventory working process is 100,000. Started and completed. Now started and completed is not provided. However, we can calculate. If you remember again from my the algebraic equations uh, video, we have completed and transferred out equals to your beginning, beginning working process plus is started and completed. Now using this, we will get the beginning. We have a completed and transferred out already. We have 150,000. Here, and then equal to, we have a beginning working process, which was 100,000. And then we have to solve for is started and completed. Started and completed. So then started and completed will be equal to, will bring 100,000 on the left hand side. So 150 minus 100,000, this will give us 50,000. 50,000, this will be equal to your started and completed. Okay, so start and complete 50,000. Now we can insert this information right here, 50,000. And then your ending working process. Ending working process is provided. It's 50,000. Okay. So that's 50,000. Now we can add this together, which is sum of your cell D20. C20 through C22. Okay, 200,000. So accounted for 200,000. If you can look at that, it's also same as the weighted average accounted for. Always going to be the same, 200,000. Now, where is going to differ is the equivalent units. So now we come to the direct material part. So direct material, it says that at the beginning working process is 25% completed, right? So 25% completed. Z Corporation adds 20% of the material at the beginning of the process and 80% when the process is 10% completed, right? So that means by the time we reach 10%, all the material is added, 20% at 0 0.0 and 80% at 0.10. So everything is added at 10%. How much have we completed? We have completed 25%. That means what? That means we have added everything in the prior period, right? Remember, we're using FIFO. If we have added everything in the prior period, we are not going to add anything during the current period. So 0% will be added this time. So that gives us zero, okay? Moving on to the conversion cost. We 
completed 25% of working process. If 25% of working process is completed in the prior period, that means 75% is left. So we are going to multiply 75% to column C20. That will, that will give us 75,000 for our conversion cost. For a started and completed, it's always going to be 100% across the board. So 50,000 for direct material because those are the units you started and also completed. So everything uh, you should have, you know, you would have added during the period. Same as with the conversion cost. Now for work in process, it says 50% completed. So now look at the material. Material Z adds 20% of the material at the beginning, 80% when the process is 10% completed. That means by the time you reach 10%, you have added all the material. So during this period, you completed 50%. So you have added all the material during this period. So all 100%, 50,000 is added during the current period. Now we move on to the conversion cost because 50% of the working process is completed. So that means 50% is left, right? So 50% is completed. The left 50% you're going to incur in the next period in FIFO. So we are going to, right now, what we are going to include is the 50% that you completed during the current period. So current period is 50% completed times 50,000, which is your cell C22. And that will give you 25,000 for conversion cost and ending working process. And now you add column D from D20 through D22. And then from E20 through E22. So if you look at the numbers, what we have here is for conversion cost, we have 150,000 equivalent units compared to 175,000 that we have in weighted average method. And uh, we have 100,000 for direct material compared to 200,000 that we have uh, under weighted average method. So you can see that the number of equivalent units differ under each methods, right? When you don't have a beginning inventory, it stays the same beginning inventory or the ending inventory of the last period. If you don't have that, then they will give you the same equivalent units. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for live updates and other videos.